Georgia Southern Football 98. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rozier Ford Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro. The dealership that does business the right way. Bullock Memorial Hospital. The new vision for health care in Southeast Georgia. Bubba Burgers. You'll never bite a better burger than a Bubba Burger. And Sea Island Bank. The better way to bank. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Georgia Southern Football 98. I'm Scott Pierce, along with Eagles head coach Paul Johnson. The Eagles, one game away from the championship, a huge game today. The semifinals of the 1AA playoffs, the Leathernecks of Western Illinois come in here. Coach, what do we know about them? Well, we got a very good football team. Uh, defensively, they led 1AA uh, all year in scoring defense, gave up nine points a game. And, uh, you know, offensively got an outstanding back in Aaron Stecker and uh, well coached heck of a football team. You're sort of going to reverse gears and change gears here. The first two weeks of the season, you saw some teams with pretty good offenses, very strong offenses and fair defenses. And now you're sort of seeing the other way around. Well, and, uh, you know, I don't know. Their offenses can be very good, too. They've mm -hmm. scored over 50 points against uh, Montana in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a test of wheels that. They're going to try to stop us from running the ball and uh, try to run the ball on us. And on the flip side, we're going to be doing the same thing. So uh, it ought to be a heck of a game. Their defense has always, has also this year come up against some different types of teams. They performed very well against the passing Montana and performed extremely well against Southern Utah, which runs the ball. Right. Uh, they've played a couple option teams in Southern Utah and Indiana State that line up similar. but. Uh, you know, after watching them on tape, I don't think that they're exactly what we are. So mm -hmm. it'll be uh, interesting to see. It'll, you know, once the game starts, it's going to be a heck of a challenge, and we'll we'll know here shortly what's going to happen. That's right. And Georgia Southern brings in a pretty darn good offense as well to this game. So we'll see how it goes. Don't go away. We'll have a look at the first half highlights. But first, the Coca-Cola play of the day. everybody, welcome back to Georgia Southern Football. The Eagles hosting the Leathernecks of Western Illinois. And coach, we lost the toss, but we got the ball to start the game. A great first possession. Right, uh, they deferred and uh, kicked off to us. I'm sure they want to put their defense on the field first. And, uh, you know, we converted a big third down play on a little throwback screen to Dedrick. And, uh, we're able to hit Corey on a on a play action for a big, big score. First and ten from the 49-yard line, your own 49, and Corey made a good catch and then a good run after the he catch. He sure did. Uh, hit a little play action off the triple option on a post wheel, and uh, you know once he caught it, he did a great job getting in the end zone. What did that mean for your team to get up that quickly on such a strong defense? Well, I think it uh, sent a message that uh, maybe we weren't in awe of them on defense. They certainly had an outstanding defense and. Uh, I was very impressed with them uh, as you know from the start to the finish up front they were big and quick and uh, you know it uh, gave us a chance to put uh, points on the board from a long way out and when you're playing a good team you need to do that. And just three minutes and 11 seconds Georgia Southern has seven points on the board we kick off to Western Illinois they run a couple of plays get a first down and they've got a first and 10 on the 40 they fumble and we get a big recovery right i think eric davis did a nice job rushing the passer and kind of knocked the ball loose and uh and our defense came up big and turned it over to the offense in great field position and with that field position we were able to take it right in and then we see another touchdown pass from greg hill to demond brown five yard touchdown right we hadn't uh, run very many pass plays out of our little heavy set in uh you know, we hit a little play action and a slant route, and uh, Greg did a nice job fitting it in there, and DeMond came up with a nice kick. On that drive, we saw a very big development. Their best defensive player, in fact, the guy that won the award for best defensive player in the country, was ejected on that possession. Right. Uh, it's unfortunate, and uh, I really don't know a whole lot what happened. The official t told me that he was, uh, you know, had our, one of our guys by the face mask and was pulling it. and almost pulled his face mask off and then when he threw the flag on him for that he got up and kicked the guy so uh 
you know, it was uh, unfortunate that that would happen. Big touchdown, 14 to nothing, Georgia Southern now. Western Illinois gets the ball back. They were able to move the ball, and we're seeing a lot of running by their good running back, uh, Stecker. Right, uh, you know, I'm sure they came into the game wanting to run the zone play, and they were trying to run the stretch, and uh, he's an outstanding talent, and they were really big. And, uh, you know, but uh, the thing that we did do is we kept him from reeling off long runs. You know, he had a lot of six-yard runs, but we didn't let him uh, break off a lot of long ones and uh, made them really earn it driving down the field. Western gets down to the 16-yard line, but they're placed with a fourth down, so they bring in their field goal kicker, who really did not have a very good day today. He missed that field goal. Right, he struggled today, and, uh, you know, that was a big play to uh, kind of turn the momentum back in our favor. Our ball, we get the ball back to Georgia Southern. Can't move too much, so we're forced to punt. They get the ball back, and they move down the field, ending the first quarter. In the second quarter, they get a fourth and one and a big stop by our defense. Well, that was a great stop. Uh, you know, we kind of sold out and played some gaps and sent everybody And you know, I thought our defensive coaches had a great plan today. Uh, you know, we knew they were going to come in and try to control the clock and run the ball, and we were able to slip in some goal line defense mm -hmm. on first down at times and, and try to get them behind, and uh, really happy for our defense. I thought they probably played the best game of the year. The ball goes over on downs on the 15-yard line. Georgia Southern gets the ball back first and 10. We run a couple of plays, then we're faced with a third and 10. We get a penalty, third and 15. It looks like you were trying to do the uh, shuffle pass, and then uh, Greg lost the ball. Well, we were trying to run it. We got so much penetration. I mean, it's kind of like a jailbreak on him, and mm -hmm. somebody bumped in and lost the ball, and, uh, you know, we gave up the safety. Greg falls on it for the safety. At that point, it's 14 to two. We have to free kick to them. Western gets the ball back. They move down. They've got a third and nine on our 20. They throw a nice lob pass play to get in for the touchdown. Right, uh, caught us in man coverage and hit a little vertical play, and the guy made a nice throw and a nice catch. The extra point, though, was no good. The, uh, the field goal was missed, so that makes it, at that point, 14 to eight, Georgia Southern. We get the ball back. We moved some, and we saw early in the game, especially, they were really clogging up the middle for Adrian. Well, I'll tell you what, what was happening is up front, they were so big and so quick, uh, and we were really having a hard time knocking them out of there. And, uh, you know, in the first half, we really never got a running game established. Mm -hmm. I mean, we hit some big plays and, uh, you know, some big pass plays and, and individual plays, but we really never got us our option game established like we like to do we're forced to punt then our defense holds western illinois they punt back to us now we're a minute to go your quick offense moves down the field and a pretty pass play down to corey for the 11-yard touchdown well, that was a great play by gray and corey uh you know we had a, a, a timeout and we talked about and really i caught one play and i changed my mind to call the other i'm glad we did and uh the, uh, you know, just a good execution. You know, Greg threw a nice uh, pass, and Corey did a great job getting open and catching the ball. Big touchdown going into the locker room, but will it hold up against a very strong Northwestern Illinois team, or Western Illinois team? We'll let you know. Don't go away. A look at the second half highlights right after this halftime interview. Middle name. He's got uh, the whole package. He's got good speed and great balance and a uh, hard guy to bring down. He's got a move with a five man front. He'll keep it inside, tries his full back. Peterson takes the tackle. Here he goes 30. Here he goes 20. Adrian, one man to beat. He's going to score a touchdown with the first play of the game for Georgia Southern. Even though Adrian is a fullback, he doesn't slumber down the field. Williams a running back. I mean, he'd be good in the high, as a tailback or running the stretch play in his own one-back team. That 91-yarder against East Tennessee State when he was running, I, I don't think there was anybody in the stands that ever thought that he, he looked that fluid and that smooth, and he just kept pulling away from people. First down call, five Peterson. He comes to the 10. He comes to the 15. Here he goes 20. Here he goes 30. Here goes Adrian 40. Here goes Adrian 50. Here goes Adrian 55. Here goes Adrian 60. Here goes Adrian 30. 20. Can he go all the way? Touchdown! Oh my! Adrian Peterson has just gone 91 yards for a touchdown. All right. Saturday afternoons are target practice for Peterson, and he's the target. For us, he's been a warrior. He's been uh, resilient. You know, he just he hadn't missed practice all year. 
Give it to Adrian Peterson. He's to midfield to the 45. He steps it up again. 40, 30. Adrian breaks away. Adrian Peterson scores! Touchdown! Adrian Peterson has just gone the distance. Welcome back to Georgia Southern football. The Eagles come out of the locker room 21 to 8. And at this point, you got to feel you're doing okay right now if you can just play a good second half. Right, and uh, we knew we were going to get a, their best shot coming out in the third quarter. And uh, we talked about it at halftime. We wanted to come out and give them our best shot. And sure enough, on the opening kickoff, uh, you know, our guys were able to knock the ball loose and recover it. And, you know, what a huge, huge play. It just changed the whole momentum for the second half. Lady Luck really shined on the Eagles with the fumble recovery. The Eagles have a first and 10 from the Western Illinois 23. We see a good mix here of Greg Hill and Adrian Peterson, and then Greg's going to get it in the three-yard touchdown. Right, uh, ran a little midline play, and, uh, you know, guys up front did a nice job blocking, and Greg was able to punch in the end zone and, uh, you know, put us up by, you know, almost three scores. The extra point makes it 28-8, to eight, Georgia Southern 13 minutes to go in the third quarter. Western gets the ball back. They're able to move. We saw Stecker again running. They're able to get some nine, ten yard runs, some five yard runs. But when it gets down, the defense did a good job of stepping up and not letting them get in the end zone. Well, we did a great job of uh, not giving them big plays on the, in the running game. You know, it's like I said, he, he knocked off some six and seven yard plays, but uh, you know, we kept him from breaking the big long ones, and what that does gives you a chance to play another down, and uh, you know, then sooner or later we were getting them stopped when they got it down on our end. The Leathernecks are forced to punt. Georgia Southern gets the ball first and 10 at the 20-yard line. We see a great drive, and just as we've seen in the last few games, and really all season, finally the middle softened up, and we saw some big runs. Adrian had a 29-yarder on the second play. Well, Adrian just wasn't going to be denied. I mean, he was, he was really running hard, and guys were doing a good job coming off and Greg was doing a great job reading the option. And that combination of Greg Hill and Adrian Peterson moves it down the field. You've got a second and goal from the six yard line and you didn't run it much today but you ran the pitch and you got in Sullivan with the touchdown. Right, uh, we lined up in trips and ran the triple option away from trips. The only time we did it all day and uh, you know we actually probably missed the read, but they were a little bit out leveraged, and Javon had enough speed to get it in the end zone. Big touchdown run makes it 35-8 to eight at this point. Georgia Southern, 3.27 to go in the third. Then we see Western Illinois. They get the ball back. They're able to run down, but again, you see they're faced with a fourth and 16, and they have to punt. They just run it out and run a few plays, and then they, the defense forces them to punt. Right. Uh, you know, all day uh, our defense did a good job of getting the ball back to the offense. And, uh, you know, we played like a team, and that's the way you're supposed to play. Georgia Southern gets the ball back first and 10 from the 20. We run about four or five plays, but we can't move much. We had a penalty that hurt us. It moves us back to a second and 18. Right. That's a, Those can kill some drives. Well, we hurt ourselves a couple times with penalties today, and, you know, uh, and they were good enough on defense that when you they got you backed up, it was hard to make a comeback on them. Uh, you, they didn't need any help in stopping you. And, uh, you know, we uh, unfortunately, we did that a couple of times during the game. And we're going to trade a couple of possessions. We punt to Western Illinois. They can't move much after a couple of runs. They punt back to us. And then they get the ball, and they've got a first down and 10, and they've got a long way to go from the 17-yard line, and on the first play, they hit an 83-yard touchdown pass. Right, uh, they got matched up with their back on one of our linebackers, and uh, we man free coverage, and pushed him out of bounds, and I'm not sure that he realized that when he pushed him out, he could come back in and kind of froze, and the guy had great speed, and outran him, and we missed the tackle, and uh, it was all over. Do you think if, uh, did anybody think stop and pull up on the play when they saw him go out of bounds? And I don't think so. I think it was just a great effort by their guy, and he got it in the end zone. Long touchdown, makes it 35-14. to 14. Western Illinois at this point tries the onside kick. Don't have much luck. Puts you in good field position at the Western Illinois 43-yard line. Right, and uh, we were trying to run the clock, and and run it down and they were popping a lot of linebackers and doing a lot of things and you know we ended up in fourth and 12 from about the 32 and uh didn't make much sense to punt and give them a chance to block it or a field goal so uh you know we uh decided that uh i went out there i asked corey i said corey they're too deep can you beat the guy on the post and he says yeah i think i can i said i think you can too we're gonna throw it to you so you know we lined up in trips and uh 
told Greg to throw it to Corey on the post and knew if they picked it off, it was going to be in the end zone. And uh, you know, Greg made a great throw. Corey ran a great route and uh, six points. That was a great combination today between Corey and Greg. Uh, Corey with six catches for 130 yards. Well, he had a great day, and a couple of the catches he made were uh, really good catches. And, uh, you know, he's been a go-to guy for us all year in the passing game, and it was good to see him have that kind of game. The big touchdown reception makes it 42 to 14, 343 to go in the game. Western Illinois gets the ball back. And then you're have to say much maligned linebackers get a big play. Tony Butler picking off the pass. Well, he got a tip and Tony picked it off and uh, it was great to see him get an interception. He had really played his heart out all day. Your defense really came to play and they had a lot to prove. Yeah, they did. And, uh, you know, they accepted the challenge and uh, I'm awfully proud of the way they played today. Big game today. You came in against a big defense, giving up nine points a game. This has to do a lot. I mean, your team's had confidence all year winning 13 games in a row, but this has got to be, hey, this is the next level, and we came out and performed. Well, we did, and, and we didn't run the ball as well as we have all year like, and I think you got to give them some credit. Uh, but we found a way to make plays to get 42 points on the board, and, uh, you know, I don't think they've given up that many in some time. Mm -hmm. Big game for Georgia Southern, and we can officially say just one more time. We go to Chattanooga. Don't go away. We'll have a look at a preview ahead as we head to the national championship game. Georgia Southern's drive for five. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Coach. You know, during football season, there's nothing better than tailgate with some bubble burgers. You're right, Coach. But I like to grill them in the backyard, too. They're made from 100% USDA fresh ground chuck. You buy them frozen, you cook them frozen, and they taste great. And you know what Bubba says? You'll, you'll never, never bite, bite a better, better burger, burger than, than a bubble, bubble burger. burger. Available at participating Kroger, Piggly Wiggly, Publix, Walmart, Winn-Dixie, and several independent groceries. Welcome back to Georgia Southern football. The Eagles big winners today in the semifinals of the 1AA playoffs against the Leathernecks of Western Illinois. A score 42 to 14. Huge game, coach. Your team now goes on to Chattanooga to play for it all. Well, we've got a chance at our ultimate goal that we started uh, way back in the spring, really. And, uh, you know, our guys have done a great job focusing one week at a time all year. And, uh, you know, we haven't really talked a lot about Chattanooga, especially, I mean, intentionally. And, after the game uh, in the locker room, you know, we're going to Chattanooga and, uh, you know, we're, we're one game away from uh, realizing our ultimate goal. We don't know exactly who we play. It's either going to be UMass or Northwestern State. But what we do know, whoever it is, it's got to be a strong team to make it this far. Oh, yeah. You're, I mean, whoever you play in the national championship game is going to have a quality football team. And, uh, you know, it ought to be a great game. We, we've got to get ready to take care of our problems and get ready ourselves. Doesn't matter who we play. Uh, you know, we worry more about ourselves than we do who, whoever that is, getting ready to play. And if we'll do that, we ought to have a chance. We've had 14 straight victories, one more to go to make it a perfect season. How are we doing health-wise? The linebackers have been depleted and wide receiver a little bit. Right, we're really beat up, and we were down to about three defensive ends today. Uh, Jamar got knocked out on the first opening kickoff. and uh, so. Uh, but this time of year, everybody's beat up. Hopefully, we'll get a couple guys back. Uh, We'll, we'll know more about it on Wednesday. Hopefully we will have great support up in Chattanooga for the national championship game. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in Chattanooga. Georgia Southern Football 98. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rozier Ford Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro, the dealership that does business the right way. Bullock Memorial Hospital, the new vision for healthcare in Southeast Georgia. Bubba Burgers, you'll never bite a better burger than a Bubba Burger. And Sea Island Bank, the better way to bank. 